Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I'm going to do a video review for the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080. This is actually the Eagle Overclock 16 gigabit uh, version. Um, these new 4080 cards have been really, really awesome. I thought what I would do in this video is actually go through and I'll show you the card, talk a little bit about the installation, and then maybe I'll actually boot up a game as well just to give you some idea of frame rates. Um, I have a pretty large monitor here so you can really get some idea of what to expect in terms of a demanding game. So let's go through the box first and just give you guys some idea of what to expect. This basically, um, this particular model has what they call their wind force cooling system. So essentially the way the fans spin have ventilation coming in and out. And then you also have um, the screen cooling here in the back. This basically has a large vapor chamber. And then it does have what they call their RGB fusion. So you have different colors that can be synchronized with one of Gigabyte's softwares. Um, and then you've also got a protective metal backplate here. This is more or less a standard version of what you'd expect from the 4080. You have three display ports as well as one HDMI. Um, minimum system specs on something like this are more or less running anything like Windows 7 and above. Um, a PCIe 16 pin as well as a three pin, eight pin power connector. This actually utilizes um, up to 850 watts of, uh, of a power supply. So you will need a substantial power supply to be able to run this. Um, more or less what it comes down to with the um, RTX 4080, this is what it looks like installed. Now, when I went to go install this, I actually have a full tower case here, which you can see is quite large. Um, I think if I was running this in a mid tower, I would have been in trouble just due to the length of size. This actually comes with a special bracket adapter here. So what this has is there's two bolts that actually utilize the existing motherboard um, bolts that pin down. So if you look up at the top right corner here, kind of where I'm pointing, this is where one of the corners is that you would put a standard screw into a, another um, piece that goes into the base of the actual back plate of the case. And that's where that screws the motherboard down. What I was able to do is utilize those existing two pins and basically this bracket here um, sits within those. And then this basically then um, attaches to the video card itself. This basically prevents uh, video card sag. This is a much larger video card than the prior 3080 that I actually had in this. And I was actually very surprised to see how large it was. With the new 4080 cards, you have this um, three pin adapter connector. I was a little bit bummed with this because I did have sort of this white build going on. And now I've got these black ribbon cables going into white, but hey, it's whatever, right? Um, more or less, you have the one connector that then goes into each of the three PCIe uh, eight pin connectors. Now, beyond that, um, you have the RGB that's going across here, so this can be customized with the Gigabyte software, but I usually just leave it as is. Overall, I haven't had any issues with overheating or problems or anything of that nature. I'm gonna actually go ahead on my machine and we'll bring up Steam, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you some idea of my setup here so you can actually see um, what to expect when it comes to playing a more demanding game. So I'm just gonna launch the game here, and I'll show you my full setup. So. I actually have here a 38 inch ultra wide monitor. This runs at a pretty high resolution. I believe it's running at, um, I think it's uh, over 3000. I just recently set this up. So I'll actually go in the graphic settings once this loads. But what we're gonna do for a demo is run a game called Hunt Showdown. This is actually a game that was created by the original creators of Crisis. So if any of you are familiar with Crisis, you know that um, that was one of the most demanding games of its time. And Crytek, the developer of those games, um, makes some very graphically demanding games. That's never been something they shy away from. So Hunt Showdown is a really great example of this because it's been something that I've been using, uh, or rather playing, um, now for many years. And I personally believe it's one of the more intensive graphically graphical games that's come out over the last few years. So um, traditionally when running this, I'm able to see frame rates um, roughly going from anywhere around 100 FPS upwards of 140 FPS. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll load what's called a trial, but before we do that, I did wanna show you some of my graphics settings just to give you an idea. Um, this sort of gives you a benchmark. So this again is a 38 inch ultra wide. It's running at 3840 by 1600. So very, very high resolution, a lot of demand coming from something like that. This particular game is actually not even utilizing all that much memory, but it is a very demanding, very high intense graphical game. But with this card being at 16 gigabytes, you can see we're only using 2,484 megabytes of that 16, um, 16,000. So we're really only barely chipping into what's capable here. I have everything set to high. 16x on the texture filtering, 2x on the anti-aliasing, and everything else is set to as high as possible. So we're gonna go back and 
I'll actually load up what they call a trial in this game, which basically just allows me to kind of run around freely. So if we go ahead and hit play on this, so it'll take a minute to load, and I do have an FPS counter, so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect with this, but this has really been one of my main games that I play, so um, typically, you know, when you're playing a game where there's a lot of intense gunfights, uh, a lot of movement, um, explosions, things going on, where not only do you want to see everything that's going on, hear everything that's going on, but you want that performance to be at the max, right? So if you're playing a competitive game such as this one, it really is very critical that you have good frame rates and the game is running very smoothly. So you can see here how much graphical de detail is in this game. I'm gonna actually move forward here. This is basically like a little swamp slash river here. And we have all this tree foliage in the background, all this detail. And currently with the uh, 4080, we're currently sitting right around 140 FPS. So this is just absolutely mind blowing the power that this card is able to output. Um, if I was to look at the ground, this pretty much puts us at like no detail. This will actually crank all the way up to about 155. And again, looking at something that has quite a bit of detail moving around, we're still able to maintain pretty high frame rates, well above 100. This particular monitor is actually overclocked at 160 Hertz. So you do wanna make sure that if you are gonna be getting a card like this, you have a monitor that can support those higher refresh rates. Um, additionally, with a card like this, you do also have um, features like DLSS. So some of the newer games, um, for example, Warhammer Dark Tide recently just came out. That's a game that can actually really support the DLS, DLSS features, and you're gonna be able to get the most out of those higher resolutions and um, really get even more performance out of the games that you're actually playing. So overall, I'm very, very happy with this card. I think if you're looking to upgrade to a 4080, you know, this is a card that I've been very happy with. I know that um, you know of the brands I've worked with, or rather used over the years, Gigabyte has been one of my favorites. I've utilized their motherboards and other components, and I've never had any issues. At one point, I had to reach out to their support for a complicated BIOS issue, and they were actually able to help me over the phone, and I felt that that was very successful in terms of just getting that support. So I felt very comfortable going with Gigabyte as a brand in terms of a video card. So overall, very, very happy with the card, very um, happy with the performance, and again, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video review. Talk to you later.